first of all, shouts out to uh, UConn and, and, and NC State. Probably had the best game. Yeah, that was probably the best game. Maybe I would rival that game. No, no. I think that NC State... I think that NC State and uh, UConn probably had the best game in March, as far as both tournaments, both March, uh, both men's and women's tournament. UConn, of course, coming or beating NC State ninety-one to eighty-seven, it was an incredible game. Both both are uh, they went to double overtime. NC State hit some clutch buckets, man. Paige Beckert, uh, she she I think she had like. Almost, she had like 28, 29 points. AZ Fudd had like 19. Shouts out Maryland pro- or DC product. It's now. Damn. So I'll say my gripe. I don't understand. I, now, nobody has been able to tell me why. So I'm just going to remain as I don't understand. I don't understand how you can have a region. And in said region, a team can have home court advantage. And the team that has home court advantage is not the number one overall seed. So what I'm saying is UConn plays in the Bridgeport or plays in the Bridgeport region. Now, while UConn does not originally play in Bridgeport, their, their arena is probably about 45 minutes to an hour from Bridgeport. Maybe hour and a half. Which is which is pretty much a home game. North Carolina is nowhere close to Connecticut. So why is it that? And, and don't get me wrong. Do I think that that changed the outcome? Do I think that UConn would not have won? No, but I do think that that it. You know, let me say no. Possibly because there's there's difference between having home court advantage and and not. That's 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 why it's called home court advantage. So how is it that NC State, who Earn the number one overall spot now in the in the lead eight have to play pretty much an away game. Yes, they they have the white jerseys, which which signals home just due to the fact that they have a better, you know, they have a higher seed ranking. But you're playing, you're pretty much playing an away game, and it felt like it. Like it, now again, both teams played incredible, and I'm not I'm not taking anything away from UConn. I'm just. Lot shedding line in fact, like if you look, Baylor had home games. It just now Baylor did lose home games, but like I'm, I don't, you know, South Carolina had home games. I, I, I don't know, man. It's just it's just weird in my opinion. Um, but it is what it is. Shouts out to UConn, uh, for making it to the Final Four. They'll be going up against Stanford, and Stanford, man. Shout again, and I say this again. Shouts out to Takira Carter because. I knew Stanford was good, and of course, you know, the number one seed I'm in the Spokane region. I knew they were good, but I just didn't think Stanford was. Stanford right now looks better than they did last year. And last year, for people that don't remember, they won the national championship. Stanford is playing incredible. Their they're, they're defense is, they're, they're, man, Stanford is, is playing great. So, and I, I didn't... I didn't really see anybody being them from their region. However, I didn't think that Stanford was going to look this good, uh, and, and they've been incredible. So, uh, the question is, can UConn, Stanford, in my opinion, is a better team than NC State, and NC State is incredible, but Stanford, they do things very methodically. like They cut perfectly. They hit the open shot. They they're great. They're great, especially um on the offensive rebound, on the defensive rebound. They're great at the free throw line. They're just while NC State maybe shoots a better three point shot. Stanford, in my opinion, does everything or does everything just a tad bit better than NC State. And UConn, it took an incredible second half from AZ Fudd and from Paige Beckard to get them a double overtime win. That is that is that's tough. And one thing that was glaring in this uh, in the UConn and NC State game was free throw shooting. Make your free throws. Uh, 
especially the first half of the game, UConn could. I think they were like one in eight at one point. Like they couldn't hit the they couldn't hit the free throw to save their life. And in the in the in the I think second overtime, young lady from a uh, from NC State had an opportunity to tie the game up because she got fouled shooting three. She missed one. So free throws are important. Stanford is incredible. I, I just have Stanford going to the national championship. I, I think that they're going to have an answer for Paige Becker. They're going to have an answer for AZ Fudd. They're going to have an answer for uh, UConn does an incredible job crashing the boards. I just I just think Stanford is is playing at an incredible level, and as well as UConn, but Stanford's playing at an incredible level right now. I mean, they they beat Kansas. They beat Maryland. They handily to Maryland. They beat Texas pretty handily, even though it was a nine point game. Texas pretty much had to come back at the end. I have Stanford going to uh, the national championship over UConn, even though UConn has played great too. I mean, UConn destroyed Mercer clearly. They beat they beat uh, UF uh, UCF. They beat Indiana. They destroyed Indiana. Good Lord Almighty. So. Yeah, man. Shouts out to uh, shouts out to UConn for making it. Shouts out to Stanford for for making it. I have Stanford in this on this side going to the national championship.